Hi everyone, welcome back to our ongoing series on how to create a life operating system in Notion. Today's an important one and the most requested topic that I've had in a very long time. And I'm going to break it into two parts. First, we're going to look at mindset and how to build a mindset practice in Notion. And then we're going to look at, in the next video, identity sculpting. How to build an identity sculpting practice into Notion. If you don't know what that is or what the difference is, it'll be clear after the two videos. But in this video, we're going to look at how to shape our mindset so our framework on the world is as effective as possible for us to achieve the things we most want to achieve in life because we're all perpetually changing. We're not fixed states. The question is not, who am I? The question is, who am I becoming? That is what you want to focus on, who you are evolving into, what you're shaping yourself into. Your mindset and your efforts to sculpt that identity are central to achieving the things you want to achieve. And our identities as we see ourselves is heavily influenced by the choices we make. And since we, when we take control of our lives, have the ability to control our choices, have the ability to shape the outlook we have in the world, if we take action on it, we can make it so our mindset is one that helps us rather than hurts us. If we don't take action on it, so often we end up with mindsets that are self-destructive, that put us in negative feedback loops. We tear ourselves down. They're working against us every day. Our own mindset, our own framework on the world is actively functioning against us. That doesn't have to be the case, but that is so often the case with so many people. If you deliberately take action to shape your mindset, you can craft a mindset that works for you, not against you that gives you a backwind, that gives you momentum, that gives you strength, that gives you power. Because how you view the world has so much impact on what you do with your days and what you do with your hours and weeks and months. Our framework on the world, which we also call mindset, is our view on what's possible. It's our view on what's realistic. It's our view on what first steps we need to take to make anything happen. It is literally the window through which we see the world. And the thing that so few people realize is that we have control over that if we take control over that. We can shape that mindset to be one that helps us rather than hurts us, that empowers us and enables us rather than drags us down. It is a choice, but so few people realize it's a choice. And that's the thing I most wanna to emphasize today. We'll get into some practical steps here soon, but you gotta understand first how important this is. Everything you do is dependent on it. And your success or failure at anything you want to achieve is dependent on it. Second, you can shape it. You can change it. If it's negative, you can turn it around. If it's scattered, if it's confused, you can sharpen it. You can make it what you want it to be and what you need it to be. You can craft a mindset that makes you unstoppable or you can just let it go and take whatever is served up to you by the external forces acting upon it, and inevitably it will be far less than what it could be, and in many cases, it'll be really self-destructive. I see so many self-destructive mindsets, and this can be changed. This is something you have control over if you actively pursue that control. It doesn't happen by default. Most people don't figure this out, but if you take action and do a little bit every day, this is classic habit building a little bit consistently every day gets you a long way. It's not about one big retreat sometime and the rest of the time you let it go. No, this is about steady, small, consistent crafting, shaping. You have to give yourself evidence for yourself to believe the mindset you're trying to create. And by doing the things you tell yourself you're going to do, you're going to give you a little bit of evidence a little bit at a time and over larger periods of time, you're going to believe it, you're going to accept it, and you're going to see the world in the way that you have directed. And when you do that, so much more is possible. We'll start with that with mindset today. We'll build on it further with identity sculpting in the next video. The other thing to mention before we dive into the Notion system, this is the simplest from a Notion functionality standpoint that we've probably seen in the whole system. This is just a page with text. But as with all systems, we don't want any more complexity than necessary. Some parts of the system require more complexity. Pipelines, project management require some complexity. Resurfacing knowledge and context requires some complexity and some more sophisticated notion design. But this doesn't require any of that. This is all about identifying the things that you want to be shaping your life and shaping the way you think about the world and your activities in it and staying close to them. Because so often we hear a piece of wisdom and we think, yeah, there's truth in that. 
I want to live my life according to that principle. And then what happens? We just drift away from it. We forget about it. And then it's gone. We may save it somewhere, but we never see it again. And it drifts away. It's probably in a page deep in your Evernote archive somewhere or a notebook somewhere. If you even wrote it down. And if you didn't, poof, it evaporated even sooner. And it's gone. You drift away from it, it's gone. The entire purpose of the mindset practice in the Notion PPV system here is just to keep those ideas, those nuggets, the most precious insights and wisdoms and thoughts, the ones that you want to shape your life around to keep them close so that you don't drift away from them, so that they become top of mind and part of a routine habit in which you revisit them and rethink about them and stay close to them. So now let's dive in and I'll show you how we do that in a practical sense in the Notion system. But also be aware, this is just the beginning of this channel's exploration of mindset and identity sculpting. This is just showing you how to put a very simple practical piece into the Notion system to help you. The Notion part of the Pillars, Pipelines, and Vault system is just the skeletal structure to give it some organization, be a reference point to check back to, something to lean against so you don't drift into random arbitrary directions. But so much of the actual PPV system is not the Notion system, but your behaviors interacting with it and in life around it, independently of it. And what we're going to look at today is the skeletal component in the Notion system. And then we're going to do a series of videos throughout the rest of the year in which we look at what mindset really is, how you can control it and shape it and make it resonate with truth to you so you believe it, and therefore it will serve you in a very practical and functional way by being the framework in which you see the world. And then all the actions you take will be in alignment with that framework you've designed for yourself. There are many ways to see the world. Many of them are equally true. You get to choose which one you want to be your primary lens. And some will help you and some will hurt you. So you wanna choose one that will help you as much as possible in life. We'll do many more videos going forward throughout the year, exploring this in a broader way. In a way, we've done many videos already on this. So many of the principles built into the project and pipeline planning part of the PPV system have already been about shaping our framework on the world and how we go about our days and our hours. Now we're doing it a little bit more explicitly. So the easy part is the notion setup. The hard part is the psychology and the consistency with which you have to revisit these principles and wisdoms so that you can shape and mold the psychology to be as effective as possible for you. So with that, let's dive in. We'll start with the basic structure in Notion in this video. We'll build on it in the next video. And then throughout the year, we're going to revisit these principles and go deeper into the psychology, focus on the hard part, since we'll have the Notion component already in place. Starting in our command center, as we typically do, the top level dashboard will jump into the action zone, which is where we do our daily focused planning and execution of the day. Part of that is the daily tracking. Typically this will be blank. I'll hit a new one here, but later in the day, this has already been started. So I will click that and this will apply a template, which is my morning startup routine. And then it goes into my evening startup routine. We'll do a video on this shortly because it's expanded a lot from some of the previous glimpses we've seen of it. But within here, we go through a series of morning startup steps Again, we'll go in more detail on this very soon in a whole video focused on it. But we'll come to the mindset point. We'll click mindset, and this is a stop in our morning setup routine. I'll spend two or three minutes on at least, potentially five to 10 minutes, but often just two or three minutes, jumping into this mindset practice page. And all this page is, is a table of contents at the top, which you can create by doing slash TOC. Because there are a series of headers using the header one, header two, header three format, you just do slash TOC. It'll create a table of contents that just duplicated what we already had, but that'll be an index of what's on the page below. And you click on any of those and you'll jump down to it. And this is an index of the mindset page. And then it turns into the identity sculpting page down below. We'll do the first half today, second half in the next video. So this is all organized by sections. You can create whatever sections you want. You don't have to use my sections, but the point is you're going to take all the bullet points of wisdom you come across throughout your life and you're going to put them in here. And as you pile up bullet points for these nuggets of wisdom and insight that you want to make a part of your life, you're going to see categories emerge and just let them emerge organically. You can start with mine if you want, but really just start throwing in bullet points of the wisdom and insights and ideas 
that you want to shape your life around. So often you'll see something and it'll just resonate with you. You know there's truth in it. And you know if you only you can make your life more like that statement, more like that thought, that idea, that nugget of wisdom, your life will be better. But like I said, we just drift away from them so easily. The whole purpose here is to stay close to them by revisiting them frequently over time, periodically. It's a form of spaced repetition, essentially. And through that, we're internalizing them. So I will run across these statements that mean a lot to me, that resonate with me. If something resonates with you, that's something to pay attention to. So you have an instinctive resonance with things that actually matter, that have truth in them. So use that instinct, that resonance, to identify what you want to stay close to and it's meaningful to you. So I'm going to talk more specifically and walk through these, but just notice this is just a page of bullet points with headings and occasional call outs and color codes. You want to identify these different pieces of wisdom and make them feel like objects. Give them a tactile feel by making them call outs and making them color coded and doing indentations. Under these toggles, there's a lot. This will become an extremely long page, which is why you need to have headings and categories and a table of contents at top, but it's going to be a source of wisdom on how to live your life and who you want to be and how you want to see the world. So you will come back to this through that startup routine that I'm going to spend more time sharing with you in a few videos from now. And every morning for at least two or three minutes, potentially 10 or so minutes, you will read and review a couple bullet points, five bullet points, 10 bullet points, 20, whatever you have time for and interest in that morning. It could be as simple as just read two or three bullet points. That could be it. But just by revisiting them periodically, you're going to keep them close. And since there'll be so many over time, in the beginning there won't be many, and you'll be coming back to the same ones. But since over time, there are gonna be a lot, you'll just jump around to different areas. If you're spending two or three minutes each morning, jump around to different areas. It could be random what you land on. Over time, you'll cover the whole page. Some areas will be particularly valuable and you'll want to revisit them more frequently. You'll know where they are because you're gonna be visiting this on a frequent basis. Others will be less central and you'll hit them ad hoc just by jumping around the page on other days. And together over time, you're gonna cover the page and you're gonna stay close and you won't drift away. But there's wisdom all over this. Just to give you some examples of mine to get you started, I have an area called acceleration. This is about building momentum. Momentum would be another title. I've got lots of them under the bullet point, but to me, the central question is what matters now? There are things you can always justify by saying they're important, but what matters now? What's important now in this hour, on this day to get done? That varies from day to day. Your most persistent distractions will seem justified to you. That's a really valuable thing to remain aware of. You gotta know that you gotta question things that seem totally justified to you. That's got a lot of wisdom in that one little sentence. So I highlight it. Under here, I've got a lot more. How would the person I want to become spend their time? Like, think of who you wanna become in the future and how would that person spend their time? The person, you, your idealized version of your future self. Think from that person's eyes and ask questions from that person's perspective and work backwards. Great classic quote from Henry David Thoreau, the cost of a thing is the amount of life which is required to be exchanged for it. How much life does it take? How much life do you have to give it? That's the cost of doing anything. So think about the things you do in terms of that being the cost. I want to live by that principle, so I want to have that here and revisit it. Action orientation. Every action is a vote for the type of person you wish to become. We've got a bunch of James Clear quotes here. Curiosity, courage, and persistence are the new gatekeepers. It used to be you had to get approval from someone high up in some company in some industry. Now the gatekeepers are curiosity, courage, and persistence. James Clear said that, and so I put that here. Each day is a battle to say yes to what matters and say no to what doesn't. Focus is a practice. So these are ideas, concepts, wisdoms I want to stay close to. I have them here. I revisit some collection of them every morning. So I've got a whole collection here. I get these from different sources. Find the sources that resonate with you. They can be single one-offs. They can be whole collections of ideas. Bring them in together. I've got a section on inputs. Quality inputs help your thinking improve your output. Effort. I've got a great quote here from Sam Altman from Y Combinator. And then it goes down into business. Really a lot of this is tucked away. So just realize this is a short abbreviation that mine and yours will both become very long and that's good. Anything important put in here. 
anything you want to stay close to in your life and remember, put in here. And then at the very bottom, have a toggle for archive. When you get tired of something, don't delete it, move it down to the archive, tuck it in the toggle at the, at the bottom of the page. But that's all there is to it in terms of the mindset practice in Notion. But you have to remember every time you come across wisdom or insight that you want to become a part of your life, that you want to use to shape your life around, you have to remember to put it in here, capture it, then organize it. You can organize it during the reviews in the morning. When you see something's not really in a logical place, just shuffle it. Now, related to this, I often get questions in my course and in the online community as to how this is different from the guiding principles. And that's an astute question because there is similarity. In both cases, we're trying to take important ideas and concepts and staying close to them, avoiding drifting away from them as we so naturally do. But given that objective, they're opposites in the way we execute. The guiding principles, as we talked about in the alignment zone overview, and we'll do future videos on as well, those are the North Stars of your life that you wanna align all of your goals and projects behind. Those are designed to be extremely short and succinct, just a few bullet points, so you can skim them very quickly and easily in the beginning of each weekly review to keep you close to them, keep them top of mind. This page, the mindset practice, is designed to be expansive. All the wisdom and ideas by categories that you're shaping over time so that you have a large treasure trove of wisdom and insight and you're bouncing around so you never get bored, but you know your favorite sections and you go to them when you need them. When you need that kind of insight, you know exactly where to go. And when you need to discover something you haven't seen for a long time that feels more fresh, you just meander and pick something arbitrarily. So as I said, from a Notion design standpoint, it's as simple as it can be, but the power is huge. Keeping these principles and ideas and wisdoms close to you, they become a part of you and they shape how you see the world and that affects how you do everything. We're gonna go a lot deeper into this in many videos over the course of the year and it'll be sprinkled in almost everything we touch to some degree or another. The next video, we're gonna talk about identity sculpting. While mindset is about shaping your framework on the world, Identity sculpting is about shaping your view of yourself. Mindset is outward looking and identity sculpting is inward looking. So we'll pick that up in the next video. Then shortly after that, we'll get to the morning startup routine that talks about when and how to implement this practice in your daily schedule. If this is of interest, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get updates on future videos. Leave thoughts or questions below or join us at my new online community for a broader conversation. That's at yearzero.io and hit like if you found this video valuable. I also write a newsletter called Mind and Machine on increasing human capability. I give away several of my best Notion templates to anyone who subscribes to the newsletter. You can, of course, unsubscribe at any time, but I hope you'll give it a chance. I work super hard to pack it with a lot of valuable insight. The newsletter link is also below in the show notes. Thanks for watching, lots more to come.